Hey, this is Mike at On Point. In this session, we're going to show you how to report on your spectrum data in, in a way with real impact. And that is, you know, we all start with an idea of the data that we need. And what the session will show is how to understand where in the spectrum database this, this information lives, and then specifically what, what tables. And then we'll pull that table into Microsoft Excel and, and, and have our data in Excel. So in this example, uh, I'm actually doing a implementation. We have a go live right now with a, a larger equipment company, so I'm focused there. Let's just say you wanted to look at a list of your equipment and everything around the PM meter. And you wanted to pull it in Excel so you could understand that where you're at. And that's actually what we've got to do. So on the Spectrum UI, you can see I'm in a piece of equipment. And what we're interested in is under properties, the meter readings. And what I'm after is a listing of the equipment that shows uh, the primary meter, the meter description, and whether we've put in our base meter readings yet. So the first thing we do is we go to that screen in Spectrum. And obviously, that's where I'm at, equipment readers, equipment meters. And you can see if I hover over equipment meters on the right side of my screen, I get a little function pop up. This is the function that's feeding this screen. <clears throat> okay, and I'll make a note of it, ec.eqp underscore meters, ec.eqp, okay? So that's the first step. So to understand the tables that are part of that view, I'm going to run out to InfoLink, and I'm gonna to go to my phone and turn it off. And I'm going to go to function table cross-reference. And I'll type in that function, ec.eqp underscore meters. And I'll hit preview. And this little guy is showing me the tables and or views that are part of that, that user interface. And I, you can see the equipment master MC is, is on this function. And so that's, that's the table that I'll need to get those meter readings. Okay, so you make a note of that, EC underscore equipment master MC. So I'm gonna close out of this and then next I'm going to go verify that my data is indeed on that table. So I'll go up to table directory inquiry under InfoLink and I'll just get a little bit anal. I say I want to look at just my equipment control and then I'll type in EC equipment underscore master underscore MC and boom there's my table okay so I'll double click on him and check this out this is my data dictionary I've got the fields that are on this table the name the type the size the description and other pieces of no just the description and it's a listing of all of the fields that are on, in this case, the table. And so without, I don't want to have to scroll through everything. I'll say, you know, well, first of all, I'm, I'm going to look for meters. I think I lost my table there. Let's go back and get him. So I'll go back to my table. And I say, I want to look for all the fields around meter. And voila, here they are. I've got meter type, last meter readings and date, and then the meter type one, two, three, four in terms of descriptions and type. So here's all my information that I want. So I know the table now that contains the information I'm looking for to go out and do a quick Excel dump of my meter readings. So what I'll do now to get that information, I'll go into Excel 
and I'll go data. I'm going to say get data from other sources and from Microsoft Query. Now, you will have had to have InfoLink set up to do this, and you'll have to have a, a DSN set up through ODBC. And we show the DSN in another uh, another video, but we don't have any videos on setting up InfoLink and that security. Where it's, where it's around security and, and those things, that, that's something to discuss with your consultant. Uh, we certainly don't want to put a video out there on how to, how to, how to get to your data. Um, so anyway, uh, my, my on-point DSN will be used. I'll hit OK, and I'll give it the password. And then MS Query is going to ask me which tables I want to see. First of all, I'm going to go to this owner, and I'm going to say, only show me database objects. And I know that I want this Equipment Master MC. Now, the reason I'm only seeing a few tables here is because of my, my info link setup, okay? So anyway, I'll add that table, and I'll close. And I'm going to say, I'm going to make a couple of adjustments here. The upper pane is your table, and the lower pane is the fields that we're going to... Uh, that will display what we put on uh, the, the data that we put in there. So I'm going to say I want to see the company code. That's something you'll always want to do because this is a multi-company table. And then I'm going to say I want to see the equipment code. And then I want to see the description. So now I've got a column for company code, equipment, and description. Um, what I want to grab next is my meter type. Is it equipment meter type? Bum, 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 bum. Grab my meter type. Where are you? There he is. And then I'm going to grab the uh, meter description on meter one. Meter one is, of course, the meter that's used in, in PM, so that's always of, of interest. Equipment meter description one. And then I'm going to grab my last meter. I'll type in L for last. The last meter and that last meter date. So I can see now from my query, the, the columns of information I can confirm before I return the data to Microsoft Excel. And it's going to confirm the field that I'm in that I want to start in. And boom, there's my, my list. I'm going to pop over to CCD only. I'm going to hit that pull down on the equipment code and unselect there and tell it I want CCD only. Now I'm looking at that at company specific. And, if, and if, if this were the company I was doing the implementation for, I would say, oh my, oh my gosh, we don't have the, the meter description in, in all of the equipment for meter one, which of course is going to be needed for preventive maintenance. And we certainly haven't put the base meter readings in and all those either. So it's a very quick way here to to get a 30,000 foot view of your data. Once you save this, if you want to refresh, you just click in any field with data in it. You go to your data button and then you hit refresh. Where are you? Refresh, refresh all. It'll reach back through web services into your spectrum company and refresh that data. So I hope this has been helpful. Again, this is Mike with OnPoint. If you have any questions at all, just give us a holler. Phone number and email address is on the website. And uh, thank you for joining. Bye-bye.